Hi folks, welcome back to Barbecue Talk series of how-to cooking videos. Uh, today we're going to do a little fun one. Uh, we're going to do something to do with hot dogs. Not just any hot dog. We're doing Chicago dogs. And uh, Chicago dogs are one of the most unique um, <laughs> hot dogs around. I know that uh, a lot of people think there's no difference one from the other. These ones are. They're very different and, uh, and I'm going to show you why they're different. Um, we're going to start out today with uh, some Angus um, hot dogs. These are all beef. That's what a Chicago dog is. It is an all beef hot dog. These are the ones we use um, when we do our roadside or our, our large events. We actually have those shipped in directly from Chicago. Home of the all beef Chicago dog. These ones are something new that Schneider's has just come out with. We're going to give them a shot tonight. They are their Angus all beef wieners. They should be okay. Okay, let's get started. Okay, folks, one of the key elements to a good Chicago dog is a poppy seed bun. Fresh baked poppy seed buns. Um, if you don't have those available in your area, I'm going to show you how you can make them up. And if you want to use just any regular bun, you can do it the exact same way. I've got some fresh bakery, top sliced buns. Um, these are out of a local bakery. I think uh, you can get them at the grocery store too. They may be under a Wonder brand or something like that. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to take just an egg white, an egg white wash, and brush the tops of them. Okay. What that's going to do is going to put a nice shine on them. It's going to allow us to sprinkle some poppy seeds on top and therefore creating our own poppy seed bun right in your own kitchen. Okay, doesn't take a whole lot. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees right now. And then we're just going to lightly sprinkle these with our poppy seeds. A little messy, but you can see how great they look. That's the first step to a Chicago dog. Okay, these will go into the oven for about five minutes. All we want to do is set up the egg white and make the uh, the poppy seeds stick to the bun. Next, um, you want your wing, your all beef hot dog. It can't be a pork hot dog. I mean, if you've got nothing else available, I suppose you can go ahead, but it's not going to be a true Chicago dog unless it's all beef. It does make a big difference. Okay, you don't want to barbecue these. Traditional uh, traditional Chicago dogs are either steamed or boiled. We're going to boil ours uh, because we don't have a steamer in the house. Uh, you just suggest you do the same unless you do have a steamer. You can grill them. Again, it's like not having a poppy seed bun. It's like using a pork hot dog. It's not a Chicago dog. It's a regular dog. So we're going to get these into boiling water. Okay, dump your, uh, your hot dogs into boiling water. Shut the burner off. Put the lid on. Leave them sit for 12 minutes. Okay, you're not going to overcook your dog. It's going to produce you a nice bite through, a little snap to the dog when you bite into it. That's how you want to do these Chicago dogs. Okay, one of the uh, toppings on a Chicago dog is neon relish. Okay, I haven't seen neon relish in the stores before. We'll show you how to make your own. Just a typical green relish. Okay, um, doesn't have to be anything fancy. It's just your typical normal green relish. You're going to take that and mix it with uh, some blue food dye and some yellow food dye. Now, to give you an idea, um, we used about four tablespoons on here. Okay, of relish. I used one drop of blue and I used five drops of yellow and you can see the difference in the relishes okay that's what neon relish is it's just a food coloring but it makes them look pretty neat adjust the colors to your preference all the essentials for making a Chicago dog we've got our poppy seed buns our toppings are tomatoes dill pickles fresh onion normally they would use what's called a sport pepper we don't have any sport peppers around here we have what's called Pepperoncini. Pepperoncini. Okay, these are a Greek pepper. It's sweet. It's crunch. I'm sorry. It's sweet with a little bit of heat. It's crunchy. It's got a very thin skin. It's a delicious pepper. I cut the stem off these and then I fine slice them. And that's what we top our dogs with. Our neon relish. Um, you could put on some seasoning salt as a topper. You could put on some celery salt, some Caesar salt that you, you rim your glass with from uh, the the cocktail Caesar. It's very good on top of here and some mustard. Let's put it all together. Okay, let's assemble. You can see how big these beef bad boys have gotten. That looks like a good dog, man. They really, really increased in size after their, uh, after their very short period in, uh, in the boiling water. Traditional hot dog. Tomatoes on one side. Pickles on the other side. Okay, oh, this is going to fall over. We'll have to prop it up. 
It's too much, uh, too much hot dog for that bun if I'd known they were going to blow up like that. We'd have had to get some extra oversized buns. Okay, use a couple more buns as props just to show you guys how these things look. Okay, pickle on one side, tomato on the other. Next, you're going to top up some of that good looking neon relish. Mm, looks good enough to eat already. Top of the neon relish, we're going to take some of our chopped onion. I like a lot of onion on mine. Okay, very, very nice. Top it up with some mustard. Okay, then you're going to add on some of those beautiful sliced pepperoncini mushrooms. All you have to do is take the stem off, leave everything else inside. The core is very soft, it's very flavorful. These are not a hot pepper. They have a slight bit of heat to them, but very, very tasty. On top of that, touch it up with your seasoning salt, your celery salt, your Caesar mix, whatever you got. There, ladies and gentlemen, is your perfect Chicago dog. Enjoy! In the meantime, please rate, comment, and subscribe. BarbecueTalk.ca